Hey everybody, and welcome to Paper Crafting with Tammy. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. It is awesome to see you here. I have a great project for us today that we're gonna start on in just a minute. If you haven't done it yet, take a minute and hit that big red subscribe button so you see what else I've got for you next time. And let's get started. Today we're gonna to be exploring the difference between sponge daubers and blending brushes. Now I'm sure they both have their uses for different things. I've always used sponge daubers when I'm gonna ink around the edge of a photo mat, along a border, something that I cut out with Kiwi Lean, um, something like that. So in that case, I'll usually use a fingertip dauber and I just flick along the edge of whatever it is that I'm inking. But lately, I have been getting into some stenciling and I am really curious how the different tools work when you're using a stencil. So I am gonna try both products today with the same stencils, and we're gonna see which works better, the sponge daubers or the blending brushes. I am very new to this type of media, so it's gonna be something fun for me to discover and I hope that it answers some questions for you. So the ink that I'm gonna to use today is actually close to my heart ink. Um, for this first one that we're working with, we're gonna use Sweet Leaf and Ballerina. I'll go ahead and just get them both out. And we're gonna start with the dauber method. So I am going to keep this real time because I think that if we're gonna check this out, then we need to see um, kind of the time and how it goes. So with these, I find that when I'm getting some ink, I'm just kind of lightly going around the edge of the stencil. This particular stencil is a layering stencil and it's got this section that you do first and lay down your light layer and then you'll go through after and move the stencil and do a darker layer. So right now I'm just laying on all my green and I'm trying to do this lightly. It is a little bit tricky um, to control with the dauber, the amount of ink that I'm getting on here. Okay, but I am getting some, some light green ink. And then I'll grab another dauber and I'm gonna do this center section with the ballerina. So what my plan was is just to go ahead and use the same colors of ink for the second layer, just to go a little bit heavier rather than pulling out a whole nother color. So there's the first layer done with the dauber. And let me get this stencil repositioned. I'm just holding these in place with a little bit of washi tape, which works pretty well and it seems to be something I always have an assortment of. I tend to buy more washi tape than I use I love it. All right, so I'm gonna keep my inks over here on the side for this section. But we're just gonna go a little heavier handed. This time around. And not try so hard to get that lighter look. We want it to be a little darker on top of that ink layer that we already did. I just want to go through and hit all of the areas that are green and then we'll go through and hit with that ballerina. So we're going to try a couple of different stencils today and just kind of see how the different tools look. Like I said, I have used daubers for years um, and I have used them for everything. So I just recently discovered the blending brushes and it just kind of made me curious how many other people are out there that might be trying to figure out these same things. So 
Let's get a little bit of that ballerina. Try to get a nice layer on there. I feel like anytime you've got a stencil like this where they kind of run to, the colors come right up against each other, you're going to get a little bit of an over of the colors, a little overflow, but I think that's fine. So it makes it look handmade and beautiful. So let's peel that back and see how it went. Okay, so I mean, that's beautiful. Hopefully you can see that clearly. Got the different tones and it looks really nice. So I'm gonna go and rinse this off just for the sake of not having any ink already on there. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna try it with the blending brushes using those same two colors of ink. Alrighty, so here we go with the same colors of ink and the blending brushes. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of ink on here. I do like to start on the stencil itself so that I can have a little bit of control getting, just laying down a nice light layer. I'm just gonna go around, get my grain first. I do like using the blending brushes better. I like how it feels in my hand and just the process. But I have not done a side-by-side -side comparison like this, so I'm really curious how it turns out because the effect is really what we want to know. Okay, so I've got my green down and I'll just get a little bit of that ballerina. I don't think I got enough ink on my brush. Let's try that again. This is a pretty light pink. So even though I want a light layer, I do want to know that it was there. So get that laid down. Okay, so there's our first step. I'm gonna go ahead and reposition the stencil. layering done. I love st stencils like this that have got both levels that you can just move and, and add that really gorgeous detail. All right, so back with the same colors, just like we did with the dauber. So my intent here is just to lay down a little deeper, a little darker, layer of that ink, same color. So I'm just going right on top of what I've already done, but trying to make sure that I have a little more ink on my brush and then I lay that down right away. You'll notice I'm not really starting on the stencil and pushing it in, I'm just going for it, kind of straight into the design. So I get that darker accent right away. And get that ballerina. And we'll see how this turns out. Okay, are we ready? Big reveal. Pull this up. And there's the new one. So that's the one done with the blending brushes. And then on this side is the one done with the sponge dauber. So you'll have to decide which one you like better and if there's a real difference in the look. The next one that I wanted to try is a pretty detailed stencil. I'm gonna put this one all the way in the corner. 
And I am gonna go ahead and tape it here on the edge, knowing that I am probably gonna need to move that when we get close to that edge. But I'm gonna focus really on this part of the stencil anyway. Okay. So our first look is going to be at how it goes with the daubers. So for this particular project, we're going to be using canary, peacock, eggplant, and raspberry. And I know there's a lot of different inks out there on the market, obviously. Um, I have a friend who sells close to my heart and that has been one of the products that I tend to use a lot so I know it's not the only one out there alrighty I am gonna start in the center of this design with this canary so I've got my sponge dauber and I am going to just get my ink laid down. And I'm just kind of going to work in some bands here. And then I'll use the same colors when I go on to the next one. Next, I'm going to choose some peacock. And I know there's going to be some overlap of colors here just by the nature of this stencil. And that's okay. That is so pretty. This ink is nice and bright and beautiful. Okay, next I'm going to use a little bit of the eggplant. And I'm hoping with this one to kind of highlight this particular little shape coming off of here, even though I know it's not gonna be perfect. I just think that's really beautiful detail on this stencil. So the daubers are kind of nice right here because they are allowing me to kind of focus my ink a little bit more. We'll see if I can do that as much with the blending brushes. Maybe. I haven't really tried to use them on something real detailed like this. So, like I said, it is a learning experience, and that's okay. A little bit more. All right, I'm gonna switch to the raspberry. There is an alternate spot here that also kind of comes out. I'm gonna do that one with the raspberry all the way around. I'm hoping that I'm getting in well on this stencil. It's a little bit hard to tell. So the big reveal will be when we go to move it. But it is getting a lot of ink on the top of the stencil. And that gets me all the way around. And then to wrap it up, I'm just going to bring in a little bit more of this canary around these outer spots. And I think that'll blend a little bit into kind of an orange. I'm not gonna worry about moving that tape. The big idea here is just to kind of see how the daubers work as compared to the blending brushes. So if you're looking to add to your collection or invest in something new, you'll know which way to go. I did happen to get all of these, both the blending brushes and the sponge daubers, I got off of Amazon. So I'll include those links uh, for you in the description in case you're interested in 
finding those things. Okay, are we ready? Are we ready to see what it looks like? Here we go. Whoop, it already shifted. Hoo hoo, that's pretty. Wouldn't that be beautiful on a card? Oh my goodness. Okay, I am gonna go get this washed off and ready to go and then I'll be right back. Just as an aside, before I show the next process, when I took that stencil and to the kitchen to wash it, I decided to lay it on a paper towel and I just gave it a gentle spritz with some water and then laid this white cardstock right on top of it and just pressed down gently. And that made kind of a negative of that and um, just used up some of that ink that was there from doing all of that daubing. So that's really beautiful too and something I can use later. So this is not going to fit quite on here. It'll come right up against the edge, but it's where I'm gonna go ahead and leave it because I did wanna have that comparison for us. So get this taped down. Are you guys ready? Here we go. So I started uh, with the canary on the last one. So do the same. So the canary was the center. And I didn't even try to go light on any of the ink with the daubing. So I'm not gonna do that with the blending brush either. I'm just gonna lay down some ink. get some of the peacock and this one kind of went around this circle so <laughs> it is a little trickier to the blending brushes right they're wider and I kind of want to do this circular motion so I'm finding that I'm having a little bit harder time getting that to fit in a small space. Okay. Doesn't mean it's not gonna be gorgeous, so we'll see what it looks like when it's done. I used the eggplant next, and on the eggplant, I went in the section that's kind of got the circle at the edge. Uh, we're just going to push that ink out into those designs. The blending brush is definitely easier on my hand. <laughs> I will say that for sure. This motion is a little easier than the motion with the daubers. couple more of these and then we're going to go around and use that raspberry for the next section and we'll see how those ones turn out. Okay, so raspberries next. I like that these colors are similar but they're different enough that it just creates a really beautiful color here. Everything was so rich on that last example. I can't wait to see how this one turns out. A little bit more to finish up. Okay, and then on this, what I did with the dauber was just to go and use the canary to fill in all of these spaces around the edge. So we're gonna do the same thing with the blending brush. All 
the way around. And I just keep grabbing more ink because I want to make sure that I'm kind of being fair to these techniques here. All right, we're almost there. Okay, I don't know if you guys have had a timer going to get an idea which one's faster. Um, I would be very curious about that and I may go back and look at that on the video myself. So here we go. There's gonna be that funny little white spot from the tape. All right, so this side was the one that was done with the blending brushes. And this is the side that was done with the daubers. So same inks, same colors, right? Same person, so I'm not sure. The product is not that much different. This one does seem to have a little bit richer color. I could probably adjust this one by adding a little bit more ink and laying it down when I'm going around. So I don't know. Leave me a comment and tell me which one you prefer, the sponge daubers or the blending brushes. Thanks for watching today. Uh, if you have not already subscribed to my channel and you're enjoying what you see, um, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little bell and that way you'll get notifications when I put out new videos. And I hope to see you next time. See you later.